Yo, 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 what's happening guys? Matt vs. Melon here, how are we all today? We're about another video, we're currently in LA right now. Exciting times, I'm on holiday as well, so we've got the whole week off, maybe like two weeks, we're just gonna see how work goes and with my clients. Uh, so looking forward to it, really excited to actually get some more time focused on this as well. On Friday, it's payday, so we're gonna be getting the monitor. Starting the live streams and other stuff, I've got some kind of like themes and stuff for the streaming software, so we can actually have some really good professional kind of setup. Uh, going on with that, over the next couple of months, I'll be looking at purchasing a camera as well so we can get some more third person content go and speak to more people like kind of in edinburgh and around about upland and just get some more interaction kind of content uh, i think that'll be really good working from like kind of edinburgh and like other places on the laptop doing upland content so uh, yeah a lot coming this year to the channel also looking at kind of a new microphone and stuff as well and getting this studio set up so we can actually like really look at progressing with the live stream and like getting it to the next level because uh yeah we've been working on youtube for like the last year just over a year now so we're actually going to really uh, uh, push it this year start to get some like kind of people to help with the content and other stuff as well so yeah a lot of big stuff coming so click that subscribe button if you're not already we're starting to introduce stuff on the discord now as well for discord uh, granada hills residents so if you go over here you can actually see we're doing resident deals now so if you basically if we get unminted down to 1999 it's at 2045 now so if we get 46 properties minted as soon as that happens we'll min um, we'll spin the wheel and then all the residents of granada hills what's entered this competition uh, the wheel will spin and then the name what wins i'll buy a property off them for ten dollars regardless of the mint price so they'll always get the ten dollars uh the property could be fsa the property could be anything you know it could be higher if you wanted but obviously the lower the mint price the more you'll gain from it and we're going to keep running these competitions i'm going to start putting some dollar aside so players what are actually interacting with granada hills what are buying up the floor what are actually like helping the market strengthen the market i'm going to reward them with dollars going forward on the game because i think that's a great idea uh, we're looking at close to like this pay rise as well so once that happens we can and really really start to push on with upland this year as well just like we did at the start of last year really going to push up to a thousand subscribers this year start to get some more kind of like copyrighted music as well uh, licensed music so we can actually start to work with that as well and also final cut pro so we can edit and like go back to the professional side of editing uh, as you know right now i'm ed editing these videos on iMovie uh, but once we get the money and the funds we'll start to buy a uh, final cut and i'll edit on that I used to edit on premiere pro because i was on pc before uh, so i kind of know the editing software ways how to edit and stuff so yeah looking forward to making like a proper like kind of a mini documentary or like kind of more like in a movie kind of style of stuff instead of just like kind of i like the talking to the camera stuff but i want to make some like really long content what takes me like a couple of months to create and build together you know behind the scenes so uh, yeah really excited for summer i've got some really good news coming to this channel in summer so uh, yeah excited i was working the other day so i missed the broadcasters meeting as well with upland about the sparklet drop but it's pretty much straightforward you know you'll promote um Sparklet on Twitter and then there'll be surprise airdrops you can win like Opex or you can win Sparklet not Opex sorry Sparklet and other stuff so yeah uh, that's really exciting wish I could make the meeting and stuff but yeah works um, work was really busy I couldn't get the time off work so I couldn't attend that meeting but a lot of bigger YouTubers have put out the content already like Upland Down Under's got some content out with a really good video so go check that out if you've not already and we'll jump into Upland we'll talk about um, Granada Hills and also uh, the spark exchange also the real node experience as well i've been looking into this we'll jump into this quickly right now i uh, was watching serena's guide um hope i got that right um in upland so this is really good blue rain in the game of upland but serena's guys on youtube um and basically they was going into outside this um it's like uh what was it it was like a, a mall or something like the real node la um here the upland players mall so like yeah like actually walking around and inside the actual environment it looks so like so good this is what i thought upland was gonna work towards like when i signed up to upland last year i thought this was the way they was going with a layer one uh you know where you can really like build shops and you can interact and you can sell your block explorers in like glass shelves and yeah it's 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 kind of sad that this has come out in the layer two and it's not on layer one i'd say like i wish yeah, like, this was a priority over, like, kind of the stuff what's been released over the last 12 months, you know, like, kind of totems and other stuff. Like, if this was brought into Layer 1, I just see Upland, like, like, I just see it, like, it's been stuck, like, kind of for so long now. And, like, this is where it grows, like, you know, this is what I was meaning on the video, but I couldn't really... Like, I've just, I wouldn't be able to create this myself, but look at this, like, you can walk around, you've got all this, it's kind of like the plaza, the cafes in Upland, but, yeah, just, like, imagine being able to walk around and buy the property, instead of looking down, 
like on the map like this like like driving your car around the map and like moving about you know i know it's a lot of work and technical work but like they've got a lot of investment they've got a lot of money in the store going through so like the developers should be at that skill level to create that um and it's kind of sad to see that it's not on layer one already uh because the game's kind of like it, it it's time to grow it's time to hopefully sparkle and other stuff push it like this isn't a negative like i really do love where up one's going with the sparkle and stuff i'm glad they've like kind of held back on the totems and starting to focus on uh the growth of the game like the property and all the other stuff in the game as well so that's really good to see but like it'll be so nice to see like kind of more like this you know renting structures out being able to go into other stores like buying stuff uh being able to walk around the map and actually just look at empty property like fsa or you know there's a little a little mailbox at the front or whatever with a for sale sign you can click on it it shows you the price uh, you can purchase that and it mints on the blockchain just like you would if you actually clicked into a property and bought it like that you know imagine being able to walk down the actual street and like look at the property like like the google like the the normal version but then you could even click on the google maps version as well but like being actually ground level looking at the property and purchasing that property like the amount of people that are driving to this game and then especially because you can sell it for dollars as well so uh yeah really excited we can't get onto this right now but we're looking onto it what's this visit our members area then the address is your real node properties Ah, so it's not just the real node, because here's Granada Hills. <laughs> We're on it. I never realised this. Granada Hills, Granada Hills, Granada Hills, Granada Hills. And then Van Ness Extensions. Uh, ID. So are all these... Los Angeles. So these are all these are all Granada Hills addresses. So is Granada Hills on? No, it's not on this. It'll be so cool if we can actually walk around Granada Hills and like actually buy properties and stuff like in this virtual world because uh, we can't get on it right now we kept clicking on it to so uh, uh, to try and get on to see and play it for you guys but yeah like it i'm not like it is what it is it takes time to build i'm very patient with this kind of stuff because this idea and the vision and just once this kind of like comes online then everything what's happening with tycoon right now is just so much fun and then when upland starts to release small features like this on layer one we'll start to push back onto like kind of the layer one content and then we'll start to like hopefully we can push back to the layer one content uh, but for right now this looks so good to actually like get involved and like start to film some content do some live streams actually inside and it's just fun like it's fun again you know like you can actually this it this is a good thing like i'm not gonna lie kind of with the everything what's been released recently like it's like with the totems it's like uh, it's like it's it's just not doing it for the amount of investment and stuff what's gone into the game like this really should be a lot bigger hopefully like they're still like the management's on the same track to where there was before hopefully now because i've i've noticed last year it was like property and this year it's kind of like more kind of all these side stuff and like layer twos and you know all these other add-ons like totems and stuff but until like what I would want to be able to have the world where you can actually like have animals in before I could have an animal, if that makes sense. Uh, like I don't want to know how to feed an animal or a totem before I could actually physically have the toad, um, have the animal or whatever. You get what I mean? Like if you can only see a chicken like moving around like the car as a hologram on the top of the map, like why why would I want to train and learn how to? feed my totem that's what i'm getting at like i want a world where i can like see my dog or see my animal or see the farm or like how many like kind of like are they gonna have babies are they gonna like all that kind of good fun and like it's so exciting but without the i just believe this on layer one would make the game so much more kind of like tied together um the cafes are great kind of everything what's happening with the theater but imagine you could just walk straight in and that's the theater and you know you could buy tickets at the counter even other players are actually like managing you could have players what like say i owned um, the factory for instance i could actually like give up x to another player to manage like the till or the store in that shop you know you could have like a little gift store in the shop or in the factory where you sell some of the products and you could have you could pay like members on the discord or on like upland to actually manage the tills and other stuff on the game like i know that's in the future but these ideas is where upland will grow they've got the money they've got the resources like hopefully they've got the developers for this kind of level uh to actually get this kind of level of gameplay out and if they do like this is where this is this is what i see the super app's great but like you need to have the app like you need to have the app before you get the super app you know it's no point having like a hundred different things on one app like you may as well have the main layer one fixed 
and sorted because uh, yeah like i love the game and stuff and that but like i've just how long have we had this map for now like where we can't actually physically engage with players in other games uh yeah you can keep doing content and stuff but how long can you actually film content on the same thing like hopefully there's some big surprises coming this year hopefully like layer one improves i love layer two like what stosh is doing is amazing this real node stuff is amazing like all for it but like layer one needs to keep up with layer two because layer two is just overtaking layer one now by a mile you know, you can make three times as much money on Tycoon than you can with Upland. Like this real node, you'll have ten times more players engaging with this. Obviously, you need an Upland account to go into layer two, but like if I'm in this virtual world doing like live streams, chat to players, like buying properties, I'd never want to go back to like looking at the map like this. You know, I just it's night and day. They're like it's miles apart. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can actually see some layer one kind of improvements. I really do want to see the sparkler, hopefully all this kind of stuff, and just push all the other stuff back. Like it's it's just got, there's no point us just staying like I don't know how the players what have been on for five years feel because I've done it close to a year and a half now, and I'm it's like it's getting repetitive. Treasure hunting's repetitive. Like I just want to be able to do like the real world stuff, and I believe Upland. If anyone can do it, it's Upland. So like. Like, get it done. Like, this is where there's so much. Like, I can see this, the potential in this so much. Like, you know, with a racetrack walking around. Like, I could see this taking, like, the scale of, like, GTA Online and other games. Like, you know, like, literally, I, I see Upland. I believe in Upland, and I know they can do it. Like, I'm so proud I play Upland, and I love the game. But I, like, I, you can't go backwards. Like, it's, Totems is going backwards. Like, We've not got a map where you can see animals on yet, or you can't even... There's no progress of animals or any way that we could actually funk... I don't want to just see an animal in my assets and then you go and feed the animal. I want to see the animal in the field, or I want to see the animal in my property, like the dog or the cat, or... Like, you know what I mean? I want it to be interactive. I want to be able to put my map assets up and, like, walk around the Granada Hills and other stuff and actually chat to players. And I don't believe it's out of their kind of experience and their kind of level of um, building and developing. You know, I believe like they can really do it. Like I've said before, like love the game of Upland. I'm going to be investing a lot of dollars into the game this year. Like I love the economy of Upland. Dirk, like Dirk's done amazing with the economy. Keeping the economy where it is, you know, dollar is 50% of Upex, but you got to think like you earn Upex in yield, you earn Upex in treasure hunting, more players get Upex, you know, anyway, so of course there's going to be more Upex going around, so like Upex is going to go higher, but just with the economy, like we sell so many property, you know, like it's not like we've invested £5,000 and it's not going anywhere, like we're selling so much property over the last few days, you know, a couple more last night, well this was this morning, uh, got some yesterday, you know, all the way going down. 26,000 on Tycoon as well, just pulled out in basically two days. Uh, two days work on Tycoon, so that's about eight times as much as uh, we earn in yield, actually, not three times as much. Uh, all these properties here have sold as well, so, like, the business side of the game is amazing. It's just the visual side, like, whoever's in charge of, like, the visual side is, like, needs to be, yeah, like, brought up more to speed because... The economy, like Dirk, is like 10 out of 10. Like the economy is better than I could ever imagine. You know, you actually feel confident that you'll be able to get, even if it's 50% of the markup or 45% of the markup, you know that the property will sell if you get it at the right price. Well, I believe, I believe that all the money I've put in, I'll be able to get back out. Like that's not where I'm getting with this. Like I really do trust the economy and I trust Dirk and I trust X1. Like with Dirk and X1, they're the reason why I'm like so engaged and like x1 so like kind of the way he promotes it is so like engaging and it's so like yeah top broadcaster you can see that he's got a lot of experience and that's why i wanted to jump on the the podcast and chat with him because like i like kind of you know like with casey and other youtubers and stuff as well like it's such an honor to actually chat to him in person and that so x1 if you're listening like i appreciate your brother and same with dirk as well you know the way they've they've built this economy and like the way that he's got all the knowledge and the phd and kind of economics and he really knows what he's doing trust me like he knows what he's doing it's more like the vi the ui like the visual side of it i don't know if that's um i don't know if that's a don's um part of it or danny's part of it or whatever but yeah this map and like everything what's happening with that side of it is just like slowing the game down so much like compared to this is where upland should be like this is where Upland should be. Like, this is 
like not even now like this is where it should have been a year ago like i should be enjoying the game and this is where like kind of the looking towards and even some like details because instead of a surprise if there's something in the background or they're working on something like this like don't keep it as a surprise <laughs> like like keep bits as a surprise but this like let us know about city releases let us know about kind of this stuff coming to the game because i believe this will really turn the economy as well especially with spark look coming out as well and all the airdrop stuff as well uh, we missed the broadcasters meeting we couldn't make it because i had to work but yeah um upland down under put a good uh, video out about everything like the twitter link in your twitter and being able to actually earn spark cut off winning competitions and stuff and airdrops so uh, yeah it's all looking good like actually really happy uh, I'm talking about this because I've seen this and I'm like, why is like layer two overtaking layer one's developers when, yeah, like I guess Stosh has probably got a lot more experience and a lot more knowledge in the industry, but yeah, like this this kind of economy and the way you can interact and stuff is like ten times more interactive than going over to an asset and checking if you've fed it or if it needs feeding or if it's died or like no, like why is that? A part of the game when you can't even walk around into a store yet so i think the priorities of like the releases are not in the right order but i believe once i get that order right that's when the game will like grow and start to like really build because i can see more players coming online i can see the game and the economy it's like like i'm sure upland want the best for the game as well i just believe like get back to the kind of like the this kind of idea like you know with especially with tycoon i know it's layer two without the layer one you wouldn't have these layer two games i do understand that but i just like a little bit more kind of i was blown away honestly i was so blown away when i actually seen all the stuff you can actually do on on this game and move about i know it's a bit laggy at the moment but like just the idea and like the work this is what they're trying to work towards and stuff just yeah that keeps me kind of like like hooked in as well uh, we're really trying to like be on as much as we can obviously works busy at the moment we're making a lot of money i'm loving the game of upland i just wish i could like sit and play it more instead of like just coming on to do like videos and like kind of the upex challenges i do believe like if i could walk around in the area and like stuff and like actually drive around in the car um yeah like i'd never be off the laptop literally i'd be on it like 10 12 hours a day you wouldn't even need a yield anymore because like there's so many ways to earn anyway so upland would actually be able to strengthen their economy and then the player base would 10x as well so i did speak about this on supex world as well i was chatting away uh so so impressed with the real node mall if upland developers built this functionality in game would 10x the player base um and then like just that kind of growth in the game will be all the sales going up everything going up as well and like i'm actually buzzing like physically buzzing seeing that um the real node experience and how and how like eventually i'll be able to like move around in that kind of world and that's what i've been looking for this is exactly what i've been looking for so hopefully this comes soon as well like love you upland but yeah come on give us this layer one stuff as well so many players players didn't know about this layer two games as well that i only found out about it the other day and i'm like i play upland like every single day um, and I didn't even know how to like get to it and stuff like that. So it's actually so important. I think that like this is on layer one. I do like how layer two games are coming out and stuff, but you've got to have a layer two game. But like the layer one's got to have the functionality as well. Like you've got to have rent functionality in layer one. You've got to have like um, like kind of like burning your spark. You've got to be able to like drive around the map. You've got to, all these basic functions. You've like i believe need to be on layer one as well not just leaving it for layer two developers i believe layer one needs a lot more updates it's like we should be on version three of the globe now and we're on version one uh, i just think they're not behind on the globe a little bit like they're, they're a year behind on the globe uh while we're messing about with totems and feeding cycles and all that kind of nonsense we could actually be focusing on building the game and growing the game and getting like the player base up and more sales and the market stronger and all the good stuff why people like 99 percent of people come into the game in the first place uh yeah so that's basically my bit on that i want to really see really see like kind of like that buzz again that energy from when you first signed up like this is what's going to come out you know back in the day watching Loy loyal doyle i keep saying lloydy doyle i keep pronouncing because everyone starts calling him lloydy doyle now i don't want to get his name wrong so uh yeah basically i was so like when i started seeing the videos on youtube like he was the person what got me into the game of upland and like the way he was talking and like kind of the ideas what was coming for upland and that's what hooked me and now i'm still waiting for them ideas so hopefully like they come soon like and then yeah, you'll see all these big OGs back in the game. You'll see all these kind of good 
kind of like series and like people can get money out and like it is an investment game as well you know like kind of the money side of it um there's just so many good ideas and looking forward to actually seeing but i really want to see layer one grow as well and make a lot of money as well with um, the spark exchange and all these other places but layer one's like where i want to sit and chill and just be able to walk into the cafe or be able to do other stuff in the game as well so uh, yeah hopefully let me know in the comments what you think as well we are doing giveaways and stuff as well we're trying to push Granada Hills right now, we're trying to get it minted out, so what we're going to do is start giving away dollars. Uh, Granada Hills residents, like once we hit 1,999 properties, we'll be giving $10 to one lucky winner buying a Granada Hills property off a resident, and then we'll basically purchase that property for $10, any mint price as well, and then these are all the entries right now. Uh, so if you're a resident of Granada Hills and you've also got... Uh, property in Granada Hills um, you can actually enter this competition and that and then like one winner will win that $10 as well so get involved with that we will be running lots of other competitions going forward as well uh, really trying to push this now as well pay the on Friday so we're going to get the monitor uh, start doing more live streams getting some more theme backgrounds and stuff and yeah we've been on YouTube for a year now so we're really going to push now this year we're going to get over a thousand subscribers uh, push this account really big used to do YouTube back in the day but like kind of different content uh, so now I'm going to start to really focus on it and properly drive it and grow this channel to yeah the next level it's time to like start to uh, really push this youtube channel and that so we'll see a lot of big differences this year especially with like different like music licensed music and other stuff as well final cut pro coming as well like i spoke about so yeah lots of good stuff coming as well hopefully we can get back to like kind of doing long form videos short form videos live videos everything together we've got the racetrack as well uh, it's not far away i think five weeks away till we get the racetrack now and then we've got another six apartments coming online for the disc not the discord sorry spark exchange and then yeah basically every single day now we're getting like well we're getting 204 lumber 204 or and then we're getting 82 energy a day now so we're going to get this up to 100 of each and then once layer two comes online uh, all the other layer two nodes come online we can start to build that out and expand that as much as possible so yeah uh, really excited to see what comes as well like if i if i didn't love up landing the game i won't be so passionate about this but i really really do see them going like kind of like eventually we'll get there like hopefully we get there got a lot of patience now so uh, yeah you have to have patience man it's like frustrating but i want to see like yeah layer one really come up now i don't want to see any more any more like new side stuff i want to see like the stuff they've already released like it needs to get better it can't stay stale like that it's been too many years of the same base map it's time to like, bring out something really cool because uh yeah like it's uh, i've got a lot of patience but like yeah it's been a year and a half now so time to time to see some big differences as well so uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what your opinion is as well. Jump on Supex World as well. Link in the description down below. Give me a chat. Give me a message. Add me on that. I'd uh, love to talk to you. See how everyone's getting on in the game. Let me know what your opinions are. Let me see what you're winning with on Upland. What you want to come to the game of Upland. What you want to see improved. And just kind of the, the growth of the game and that as well. i uh, love to hear from you all as well. Really appreciate everyone uh, what watches these videos. Everyone what's subscribed as well. Likes and comments. Really do appreciate it. Uh, we're really starting to grow the channel and get somewhere with this uh, node as well so uh, really do appreciate that and everyone at Upland I love you to pieces as well I uh, really do this is why I want the game to work I want the game to succeed and I want the best for everybody at Upland in this game in general um, it's so good to see but I can't just sit back and watch something just stay where it is when it should really be up here by now uh, like they've got so much potential as well like maybe just a new like kind of person leading it maybe you know something like that um, like pushing it into a different direction it's time to go back to where it was going before you know it kind of seems to be drifting off now but hopefully i'm wrong hopefully that's not true and hopefully some massive updates come out over the next couple of months as well what will uh yeah keep me happy sir uh, thank you so much for all the support hope you're really having a really good day i'll be back tomorrow we're on holiday now as well so we're going to start building up these live streams and that and then on friday we'll have the monitor and everything else so hopefully we can go live friday night and start to do different kind of giveaways on the live stream as well so yeah click that subscribe button like the videos share the videos comment on the videos and i'll see you tomorrow for another video. Metaverse Melon, peace.